Hello happy YouTubers! This is Marcelina at CashewGreens.com Today we're going to learn how to get Crimson Queen cuttings through those massive root system. Coming up! Rooting Hoya cuttings and creating massive root system depend on the propagation site where you place your cutting and also the type of hormones you use to aid the rooting. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to accomplish this. So stick with me. Let's go ahead and propagate our crimson queen. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Make sure your pruner is clean and sterile. You don't want any pathogen transfer from your tool to your plant. I already had the cutting here to save time. This is crimson queen taken from this spot. I couldn't take long stem because I have been taking cutting from this spot. I could take this uh, stem here, but this is newly propagated plant and I don't want to take cutting from this plant. Now, huya is vine, meaning it produces root in the internode. This is the internode and also produces root in the node. I'm going to show you here. This is a newly rooted cutting. So as you see here, this root is developing in the internode. And here's another root in the node and then it comes the internode. Now, if you want to increase the massive root system, the best way is to take longer cut like this one here. So if I remove these leaves and stick to the water up to here, so all of this stem here will be covered with root. Now to accelerate the rotting time, I use the clonic gel. Clonic gel is very active ingredients. It contains 3% uh, butyric acid that is going to uh, promote root. So what you will need, you take your cuttings and dip into the clonics, coat the whole stem because you want to create roots in that part. Your success in rooting the propagation is to use the system, the phagpanic system. I use this system to propagate all the cuttings because I have a higher percentage rate rooting my stem. So what you will need, you place the cutting in the insert and place on the net cap and put in the system. Now after you place in the system, make sure you label the plant, the name and in the time of propagation. Now the question is why using phagpanics? Now the benefit of the phagpanic system is that it has all the equipment that you need for rooting your cuttings. Also it has this uh, continuous supply of water meaning that your cuttings don't dry out so easily. Huya propagation by steam cutting is very easy and simple. If you use phagpanic system plus clonic gel hormone to cut the cuttings, you are accelerating your rooting time. Now, if you are going to grow hoya by the leaves, it takes longer period of time to establish into a full grown plant. This is already one year, it is rooted, but I don't see any shoot forming. So your best bet is to take cuttings of your hoya and grow the plant. Even if it is a short cut like this shirt, as long as there is node attached to it. Now plant care. I have a video how to care your Hoya but I'm going to give you a little bit of information here if you grow Hoya indoor infestation happens all the time because you bring the plant outside on the summer month and then bring it back inside during winter month so you are carrying bugs from the outside into into your home so if you have an infestation use alcohol 70% or 90% one cup of alcohol mix in a quart of water and spray the leaves of your plant even if there is no infestation happening you can still use the maintenance by spraying alcohol and wipe with paper towel or cotton ball so let's check our propagation and see what happens so this is it for today. If you enjoy watching this video, give thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Share this information to everyone. So stay with me for a while because I'm going to give you an update about propagation and see what happened. So what do you think about the fog panic system, guys? Is this something you would be interested in building on your own? If you want to learn more on fog panics, I have a video how I build a monster machine. I would encourage you guys to watch that video. And if you don't want to build the system, you just want the phagpanics and grow plant, you can also purchase the system online. I will provide you a link below this video, so check it out. So let's go ahead and check our propagation. Are you guys excited?
All right, let's go check it out. So I'm going to give you a close up. So let's check this. This is the crimson. Look at the crimson, guys. Look at that. Look at that. So it takes 12 days to root the cuttings. And if I have a long stem, I could have more root here. here. So let's check this. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at this new shoot. So awesome. So let's go ahead and repot this plant. I'm going to show you what product I use here during the transplant. So I use the microgreens. See that? So I fill the pot half. And I run out of mycorrhizae to use during the transplant. So my plant doesn't go into transplant shot, but this is okay. So you just place like that and then add extra soil. So after you add the soil, okay, press it down. And I'm going to add water here. So I use this fertilizer to fertilize the hoya and I take one teaspoon add it into a pitcher of water and water my hoya so make sure you don't over water your plant because hoya doesn't like too much water so you just water there like that so how op often do you water your hoya so if you check the soil left and it's dry so the touch then water the when you say you feel low and good things are hard to see when you pray to find love i know somewhere we could be there's a place where we can go tonight the rhythm will make it right where everyone is happy and the sun will shine Seem hard 